A local UP snowboarder could land a spot in the Sochi Olympics next month. Last night, we brought you the first part of our story on Nick Baumgartner. Tonight, TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Abby Miller up close has part two on Nick's comeback. When you watch the Sochi Winter Olympics in a few weeks, there's a fairly good chance you're going to spot Iron River native Nick Baumgartner out on the Russian slopes. I always wanted to make the Olympics, but I didn't know what sport would ever get me there. Long story short, Nick quickly found out he and his snowboard got along pretty well. It helped him get to the 2010 Vancouver Olympics and win the 2011 X Games. Now he's looking to Sochi, but he's got to qualify through competitions first to make the Olympic team. For me, there's three events left. We've already done two. The first one, I had a crash. It was at a competition in Montefran, Austria, and it left him with a concussion and an airlift off the mountain in a helicopter. So were you like out cold? I mean, were yeah, you... I, I was out for two minutes. Oh my gosh. Two minutes I was out sleeping on the course. Now it would make sense that a crash like that would mean better luck next time, Nick, but it didn't. He's continuing his competitions and he's currently number two on the team, which for him sounds a lot like he's heading to Sochi. They're going to have to break my legs to keep me out of there. Now this time, my goal isn't to make the Olympics. It's going to take a lot to keep me away from making that Olympic team. But my goal is to go there and bring a medal back to Michigan. Nick says his journey has brought him to places he thought he'd never go and has led him now to become a source of inspiration to youth, including his son Landon and other kids in the community. There's kids here that getting ready for football, doing their conditioning, and I go and work with them. And for them, it's awesome to work with an Olympic athlete. Dreaming big is my philosophy. If you're not happy with what you're doing, you have to do something about it, and you have to work hard for it. And Nick is a living testament to that philosophy of ambition and hard work, a philosophy which could follow him to Sochi, Russia. In Iron River, Abby Miller, TV6 News.